Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smack up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the uh, fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Look at that. Somebody got whacked. Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Hey, Good to meet you, early. Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. That's salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there. There you are. 
Hey, your boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, don't. I, 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 now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job are we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island, the building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Okay, take care. Who's there? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kinda hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. yet another crushing blow to the already crumbling German forces. There are reports of heavy casualties on both sides of the country.
you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so... He sent me to America and got me a job working for Clementi. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. Bastard, get away. <clears throat> okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. They're coming for you, Porky. <laughs> Back me up, Let Vito. Me All right, Vito, here we go. Oh, you're fucking brilliant. Boys, okay? Oh, fuck. Watch out. Back me up, Vito. What the fuck is that? Stay sharp, Vito. God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of time. We're going in. Oh no, no! Way to go, Vito. Oh god, oh god, no! Wait for okay. Joe Hit the button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? He's upstairs! Sends his regards. Oh, fuck! <coughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, sorry, you oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! 
Henry, you okay? <clears throat> Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg! <clears throat> oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... <clears throat> get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Oh, Maron, <clears throat> you're heavier than you look. Fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. This whole fucking place is coming apart. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Vito, there. That house. Park right in front. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Wait, I got money for you, for the job. Take it. You know, this could have waited, but thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. I'll stay here with him. <sighs> Meet me in my place. <clears throat> All right. This'll help you forget all about it. Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund. Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure. But it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Is that everything? Come back anytime, sir.